LSU safety Greg Brooks Jr. was just diagnosed with a rare type of brain cancer called medulloblastoma. He played the first two games of the season, but missed game three to what was called a medical emergency. He was having symptoms of trouble with dizziness and balance, which led to an MRI scan that discovered the tumor. Greg is only 22 years old and underwent emergency brain surgery to remove this tumor on September 15th. Reportedly, his surgery was successful and no spread of the tumor was detected. LSU just released a statement this week and said that Greg is going to begin intensive rehabilitation. The surgery has impacted his speech and his ability to communicate. So let's talk about this rare form of brain cancer. This type of cancer is diagnosed in 357 people per year, with about 140 of them being over age 15. It's the most common type of brain cancer in children. This is a type of very aggressive and very rapid growing brain cancer that starts in the cerebellum. It actually really arises in the fourth ventricle, which is one of the fluid-filled spaces in the brain that circulates cerebrospinal fluid, or CSF. Looking at a model of our brain, it actually originates in the back part of the brain called the cerebellum, which is located back here. That's a part of our brain that's responsible for coordination and balance. Since it starts in the cerebellum, it can present with a variety of different symptoms, including balance troubles, dizziness, trouble with walking, or even headaches because it can obstruct the flow of CSF and cause hydrocephalus. Nausea, vomiting, and double vision are other common presenting symptoms. In Greg's case, that's how it presented. He began to complain of dizziness and trouble with his balance just a few weeks ago. If someone complains of these symptoms, an MRI of the brain is warranted. And here is an example of an MRI scan showing a medulloblastoma that's within the fourth ventricle of the brain. As soon as it's diagnosed, we typically perform an MRI of the entire spine to rule out what we call drop metastasis or spread of the tumor to other parts of the spine. Since it sits in the fourth ventricle, it can actually spread through the spinal fluid. Next step is surgery. Surgical resection of medulloblastoma is the mainstay of treatment because we want to remove as much tumor as safely possible. These tumors can grow within the cerebellum and can actually also invade the brainstem. The surgeon has to make the critical decision of what's safe to remove and what's not safe to remove. Surgery of these types of tumor is often accompanied by what's called an external ventricular drain to relieve the pressure from the backup of fluid that may build up either before or after surgery. The next step of treatment is followed by chemotherapy and radiation treatments. Because surgery involves removing parts of the brain that have been invaded by the cancer, rehabilitation after surgery is extremely common and that's where Greg is now. The five-year survival for medulloblastoma is over 70%. I'm wishing Greg all the best in his recovery and I'm thinking about not only him and his family, but the LSU family and his teammates.